Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is great with you. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. And I hope that your Monday was excellent. Um, all of those things were pretty true for me. Uh, Friday, if you watch Friday's episode, um, then it was, it was uploaded pretty late because I had gone ice skating on Friday. And uh, that was awesome. That was a, a I owed Keely a date, so we she chose ice skating, so we went on a little ice skating adventure together, and then I woke up Saturday uh, sore in all sorts of places from the ice skating, and then I helped my friend move. Oh my gosh, um, Saturday, and we started at ten a.m. and got done around two or three, something like that. I don't know. It, it was a long day of moving. Um, but, and after that, and I told you on Friday, we started to work on cleaning up the living room, uh, and painting. So, M had got one wall of the living room completely taped and primered. We're doing primer, um, I told you to take pictures, I, it probably isn't going to happen, but we're doing primer because when I bought the house, the walls were primer. That was seven years ago, and they're still primer. And primer doesn't clean well. So, two small children, animals, there's lots of hand prints and nose prints and, you know, oils from people, you know, being on the couches and all that stuff all over these walls. So I decided we would primer them just to make sure that none of that stuff kind of seeps through the top coat uh, and then we'll paint over it. And uh, so I came home today and... I got uh, the second wall washed uh, and taped off and ready, and then both of us were like, I don't really want to do this tonight. I'm still super sore, so we're just not doing it tonight. Um, instead, I got this, I got one of those little, like, three-inch baby block planes. I'm still looking for a better quality block plane. Uh, this isn't the tool that I'm looking for, but I was at Home Depot looking for a plane that had an adjustable throat, and I saw this little tiny guy, and the way the blade sits in here, the throat is very closed off, and I think this is going to be wonderful for doing little chamfers and working on kind of the fine detail work on little, you know, those little sticks and stuff I was using on uh, the little box I'm making. But anyway... Oh, I don't really have anything to talk about right now, if that's not obvious. But tomorrow is um, is my first kind of session uh, with the counseling people. And we'll see how that goes. And hopefully hopefully they don't commit me. <laughs> that's <laughs> I made that joke last week. That's not true. That's not going to happen. Um, the thing I was looking at earlier is this, this blade is curved. So I have to put this on the stones and really work it. It's sharp though, like it's pretty darn sharp. Um, but while I was looking at the forms, I, they gave me the intake forms to do to go to this session. And it's like, you know, um, because this is a workplace related thing, they ask a lot of questions about like, is, is your, are your problems affecting your work? Are your problems affecting your family life? Are your problems affecting friendships? That sort of stuff. Uh, and most of those answers I had to give were like, yeah, yeah, they are, um, because they are, not in any sort of, you know, not to be dramatic, but, you know, it's all affected my life a lot lately, so, um, and it's affected everybody in my life, including my children and my parents and my, my friends and my, and M, you know, it's affected everybody, the dog, maybe, even, I don't know, so, but, um, I was telling Keely when we went ice skating that, the forms kind of made me feel bad because they asked these, they asked kind of the standard mental health questions of like, how often do you smoke? Uh, how many times a month do you drink? Um, are you on any uh, illicit medications? And then the next one was like, how often, how many times a week do you engage in physical exercise? <laughs> uh, that answer was none. I really don't exercise ever. 
I mean, I stand at work. Uh, every now and then, DJ will want to go on a walk, so we'll walk. Going ice skating, that's something. I'm not physically inactive. I'm not physically incapable of being physically active. I just don't take time out of my day to do that sort of thing. And I probably, well, there's no probably about it. I should. I really should take time out of my day to be more physically active. Um, I just kind of can't right now. Oh, I mean, can't? I just kind of don't is what I meant to say. Um, so that's something that I definitely need to work on. Uh, I'm going to start trying to figure out... Is it just walking the dog every day? Is it just taking a stroll when I get home? Is it going to be um, some sort of uh, weight training? Something. Uh, I'd, I'd rather do cardio, but I hate cardio, so finding something that I don't mind doing. Um, I used to do kind of a fast-paced, lightweight weight training, but I have uh, two bad shoulders from time, my time as a mechanic. I think I tore both my rotator cuffs. I've never bothered to see a doctor about it, but... You know, if I if I use my arms too much, uh, they get to the point where I can't lift them. That's pretty obvious what that is. Um, so, I'll go talk tomorrow, and then I'll come talk to you. That's the plan. And I'm going to try not to worry about it. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I appreciate you, and I shall see you tomorrow. Alexa, tell me a random fact. The saying I can neither confirm nor deny is called the Glomar response after the Glomar salvage vessel, commissioned by the CIA to attempt the recovery of a Soviet nuclear submarine. The agency neither confirmed nor denied the ship's mission to reporters in 1975. Wow.